I am Dr. Okwateye Johnson Ayodele from the Faculty of Education National Open University of Nigeria, Abuja, Nigeria. I am your facilitator for Unit 4 of Week 4 on your MOOCs course online for OER. This week, we are going to answer the question, what is the right assessment? First of all, let's look at the concept of assessment. Assessment is the systematic process of documenting and using empirical data to measure knowledge, skills, attitude, and beliefs. By taking the assessment, teachers try to improve the student path towards learning. Evaluation on the other hand, is the process of gathering data on the specific learning endeavor, analyzing them to obtain relevant information for decision making about the knowledge, skills, attitudinal changes that have taken place. Reasons for assessment in OER development. There are several reasons that can be adduced to assessment for OER material development. Number one, to provide feedback to learners starting from assignment to the term and examination. To reach the summative evaluation based on formative assessment, which helps learners to examine their performance at every stage of their study. It is equally helpful to monitor the effectiveness of academic programs and adopting appropriate strategies to accomplish institutional objectives. It helps teachers to assess the effectiveness of the instructional strategies, communication and involvement of the students. And lastly, it assists students to be aware of progress in their studies and to achieve mastery of the concept. Qualities of a good assessment. Several attempts have been made to ascertain the qualities of a good assessment. There is a general agreement that good assessment should be valid to measure what intends to measure. To be fair to all students. Should be transparent. Should be reliable by consistently measuring what it is ought to measure should be feasible and also practicable. And of course, it must have educational impact. Nature of assessment. There are several ways by which we look at assessment. We have diagnostic assessment, which is to find out the learning difficulties at the beginning of an instructional delivery we have formative assessment to monitor the learning progress and summative assessment to ascertain what had been learned. Types of assessment in OER development. We have pre-entry assessment that is giving learners the opportunity to introduce and interact among themselves. This is actually called icebreaker. Self-assessment enables learners to assess themselves on how much of the content they have learned. Authentic assessment reveals something about the standard that at the heart of a subject asking students to use judgment and inform innovations as they do and exploit the subject as pointed out by 
Lomba and Banta 1999. Also, Portfolio Assessment, which is a type of performance assessment in which student work is systematically collected and reviewed for evidence of student learning. Performance Assessment, which involves the demonstration and application of knowledge, skills, and work habits through what is known as performance task. Methods of assessment. We have different kinds of methods in which assessment is carried out. Essays, projects, group projects and dissertation, presentation, cases and open problems, work-based assessment, multiple choice questions, problems, short answers questions, single essay exams, reflective practice as assignments, poster sessions, modify essay questions, and of course, ORAS. Relating assessment to learning outcomes. The kind of assessment that gives that you give relies on the learning outcomes already stated. Assessment should focus on the attainment of learning outcomes. No wonder outcome-based assessment is being advocated for these days. Guidelines for writing assessment questions for online learning. There are several guidelines to consider. Number one, do not utilize many graphics or video. Two, desist from making learners to develop and re-upload material during assessment period. Three, your assessment should not contain complicated file names with special character. Five, ensure you don't start online assessment on the hour. Like instead of eight, and you can try 8.15 a.m. Also, avoid cutting off assessment submissions on the hours. Instead of 12 p.m., try 12.15 p.m. Make assessment to take screenshot of the challenges they are facing and email to a specific email address before the commencement of the assessment. In the summary, in this unit, you have learned about the qualities, types, and method of assessment that you could employ when developing the OER materials. It was also emphasized to you that your assessment should be related to the learning outcome you have set for the course. Also, you come across guidelines for writing assessment questions for online delivery. Take cognizance of these points when you are developing your OER material. Attempt your self-assessment exercises and also do your postings on the discussion forum page and interact with other students. I thank you for coming along with us in this particular unit. And till we meet again, bye for now.